Hi guys, it's Sasa Cocktails. Okay, I'm going to show you um, my new products. I have some stencils and have some wood. So, let me show you the stencil first, okay guys? Let me see. Oh, I have 6x6. Six six. This one kind of... Um, like you can see. So I'm starting to make a lot of stencil because using media is, you know, stuff. So I need to use a lot of stencil. And this one, you can see that's six by six. And then I have this one. I'm, I'm not sure. I call maybe a water drop something. So I have that and I have this one. And I have this one, I call this batter. So you guys can see. Oh, and I have the raindrop one. So it's this one, 6x6. Six six. The, the white paper, you just peel it out before you use it. Okay, guys. It might be better if you soak in the water to, you know, take the paper out easy easier and I have this 12 by 12 too so this one the rain drops 12 by 12 and the big one and I stand with a small one so I make 12 by 12 and this one so you can tear this one off and kind of plastic out okay guys I'm not sure this one you guys can see that is what this look like. This look like yeah. Let me see this one. See the same, but this one bigger size. And again, this triangle. See the bigger size, the same the small one. And this one also the same with. This small one looks better than this, right? You can see better. I do not have this one for the 12 by 12. I don't think you need it. I'm not sure. And then I have the distress circle here. I'm not sure you guys can see or not, but kind of big. Anyway, that's it for stencil and now I have a little bit some wood design. I'm working on a lot of stuff guys. I mean I'm working more door houses but it's not a lot of wood guys. And I have I'm trying to make like a furniture so I'm gonna sell the furniture separate but I'm gonna show you the wood new wood first. I have a couple items not much. So I have this uh, mini typewriter. That one, that's so cute, huh? I love this. I need to retain my nail. So this came in like six pack. And then I have this in. This is like the photo remember the one I made. This is the same with my photo display, like um the square and then the cor the corner really smooth so this one I make in two circles again you have like the layer so on this and on the back end okay so you wanna light them up any way that you want this one to stand I don't know what you wanna do so which one you want to, this one to be on the middle on the back or whatever so the same this one a little bit shorter than the one, the first one that I made. So, and then this one is on the back. This one will stay. Okay, it's the same concept, but just the different shape. This is the go one. Okay, and then I have the the square box. The same concept, but it's different shape. But this one not the really layer one. This one it feels like this on the back. Yeah, and then you build this one. You build that, 
So this one have the hole for the tab, this means the bottom. bottom because I have the hole for the tab so this one is bigger one here should be in this side to the stand and then you'll put this one stand right there and then this one the support so it's kinda square box stand okay Okay, this is what it look like, okay? Okay, I'll try it. And then I have the uh, the new bird case. This is the big one, guys. My video was not that long, again. So this is the bird case. This is the same template with uh, my gazebo. Okay, it's the same size, okay. Sorry, I didn't punch the hole out. I usually when I punch this thing out, when it not cut through, I just don't punch on this side as it punch that other side it's easier and it doesn't uh, break or tear um, the wood so let's see how you figure out which one in the the, the, the door so you see the here this is more gap between each other right there. I'm sorry, even move the camera. See, it's but this one is different. See, this one is the closer one, the neck hole there. That means this side is the door. Okay, so you get five of these around here, and then it's, this one is the door. So, and which one's down with one side up that easy. So if you see the tab like right here. See and this one is different one. See you have only the tab not have um a little bit leg there. That's what I call. So that means it's the bottom. Okay. So I'm gonna build that one around. That one and then this one is the front door and now so I can put this one on the top to put it together guys oh, maybe not Sometimes you should 
I do this side up. See my bottom it moved that why I have a difficult put it, it, it thing back in there. Guys, so I can't see this one. I have to stand up a bit. Here we go. Almost there. Start popping them out. Okay, one more to go. Cage. The same size is gazebo, uh, okay guys. And I have the door here. So, see right there. Got the door, and then I have the roof like this. Um, let me go grab some tape, guys. I forgot again to do this okay. okay guys I'm back so I'm gonna do this one again like the zippo but I'm gonna show you that anyway of the roof. Yeah. 
then you get a picture, right? This one is not clear like the solid wood, the one not cut like um pattern here. I didn't close it but I said without this thing falling apart guys, seriously. I think I might have to like uh you know what I have better idea. I'll take this one out. You this Quiet. Why I never thought of that, right? So I'm gonna try it, it anyway. one a little bit so this one I do this so I can put the picture for sale too Okay guys, I'm back after I tie all the roof there. So now I can put that one in there now, huh? I guess it's better like make like um crosses fighting this one then. Anyway, so um let's see my bird cage. That is the door, and this is. See there. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you guys for keep watching, and. Oh, it's kind of tired, guys. Alright. See you guys later. Bye bye, guys.